Ok. Il giotto sei pronta? Pronti? Via! Hello, hello! Today we talk about something new here from Cremona, Italy. Um, Christian is asking, since he's pretty new here in, in our shop, he knows nothing about violin making. It's interesting when he makes his questions because it actually makes us understand that certain things we do obvious as it has been always but without even thinking of it how other people outside would actually think about it and why we do it and what we do it so one thing actually when you have a violin maybe you, did, you never did it or you, now it's time to do so that you look inside the instrument through one f hole usually it's the left f hole you look inside and there is the label a lot of customers come and say, hey, I have a Stradivari and then they show up and they have it for already 50 years in the family. Yesterday there was somebody here, 100 years they had already the, the family um, Stradivari and they were feeling like a super wealthy family because they were convinced that this is now a Stradivari and they are a wealthy family. And the instrument actually was a complete um, factory made instrument. Maybe at that time when they got the instrument from a person who visited them 100 years ago, the great grandfather received something which was a super precious object, but actually it was a factory made instrument. By looking inside, you cannot tell what it actually is, but we all all the makers, when you make an instrument, you somewhere, you just have this desire of putting your name and the most uh, common way to sign your instrument is the label. Now, a label is usually made out of paper, something like this, yeah, and uh, you can mainly, usually they will be, they are printed and then the maker himself or they sign it short or they just put the year for many years that has been the tradition you just put the year or 19 and then you put the year or 2000 two zero and then you put the number and that's always interesting to see how every maker makes his own label what kind of character for the writing he's using what kind of language italian latin uh, German, French and and, and. some uh, workshops uh, from especially the ones from France they put it inside all the medals they got that was also in the 20s and 30s here in Italy very common that they uh, put it some other things on the label to sign how they have been successful if they have a trademark things like this over the years I put, let's say here, I have a lot of labels in here and now I open it already. I had this, let's say these, these labels for the Scala Perfetta. I print them here, I can show you, I print them actually on the computer and then I sign it and I just complete here the year. Yeah, so this is actually, and then, then I prepare them more because we make the, these instruments like yeah, not 10, but let's say 4 or 5 at the time we finish them, yeah? Just how the request is. And also the Linea Maki, we put labels like this. But when it comes to the master-made instrument, I leave to every maker here in the shop his own personal uh, preference. Also, Mina, Min is writing by hand. Marco prints it out with the computer and then signs it, yeah? So this is an additional uh, step where you can personalize your instrument, where you can uh, customize the label for the customer, where you can uh, write something on which you think is in a few years interesting to know for people later on. And, uh, what I usually also do beside the label is on the inside, on the top, I write just the date of this very date. So I write Cremona and then uh, the date. And if something particular happened that day, sometimes I also write it just like for fun. And then you put on these uh, brand marks, things like this. And in the inside on the top, on, on the back, you glue in the label, yeah? 
So right now, my way of putting a label in, beside what this is, let's say, the Guarnieri Ole Bowl, then I put also the Guarnieri label, then next to it I put my personal label, and then all the rest. Oops, Husa, sorry. My way of putting the label is actually since uh, many, many years ago that I somehow in the beginning I felt a little bit jealous to all my Italian friends that they had so great sounding Italian names and I had this Edgar Russ. So I started to make this kind of label writing Edgardo Ernesto Russ. It sounds already super funky. Actually at a certain point I got a little bit sick of it and then I just wanted to make it a little bit shorter than I put Edgar Eras uh, and I write it every time by hand. Yeah, so they're all a little bit different. Um, I have seen already fake instruments of mine with my fake label written by probably somebody um, Asian. You can tell how they write and but I do it my way here and uh, don't ask me why it happened to be like this. I got used to it. It's a little bit like my signature. When you put it, you don't ask. If you start thinking about your signature, whew, you just mess it up. So I just write it and I, I draw around a, a frame. And every frame I, I do a little decoration, uh, whatever my, pops up into my mind. Yeah. So yeah. And that's actually, then we glue it in with the hot glue. Now you might say that this is changing the sound. Usually I make my instrument with label and my, my, my comparing of the sound is always with the label. I've never tried to take out the label or to put more labels inside and to see if it sounds better. It's just a, a part of the car, like uh, uh, of the instrument, which is just like the brand of a car. And you would never say, well, if you take off the star of the Mercedes, then it's going to be quicker, right? Or faster. It's a little bit the same, you know. A violin has to have, master violin has to have the label of the maker. Yeah? No, but now I'm, now I'm going to finish to complete my label. And if you want, you can stay here and see how I finish here my labels yeah now here let me see I need to take here two glasses because otherwise I can't see very well and that's what I do here I like to do that yeah. As you can see, I like to make here these lines a little bit shaky by hand without the roller. I think that looks a little bit more fancy, a little bit more Edgar style. And uh, then you will soon see how I start to make some decoration in between these two lines. And it makes the whole thing a little bit more yeah, personal. Then I adjust a little bit as well the writing. And usually I just make here the labels I need. Now here I made four because I have two violins. I'm in, in under construction. I hope I will make them finish them soon. And now I make these here. So when I have now these labels, I, I bend the paper and I, I make them a little bit more the size they should be. Yeah, a little bit like rolling a joint here. Yeah, I shouldn't tell this, yeah. Oh. Now what we're talking here about, right? And then we do something like this and then we now maybe it's better first two labels here mm -hmm. this is handmade paper by the way a little bit too much here have to 
Make it a little bit more narrow. Let me see. Yeah. Then I strap it a little bit. You could certainly also uh, cut it with a knife, but I think it's, it's it makes it more. Wow, this paper is super strong. It's a new one, so I like it. Strapping the paper like this, making paper is another art for itself. And then here we make another two. cellulare squilla dopo mm? Mm. Yeah. so this is getting here more and more better then I preferred having it smaller to its original size and then I make one at a time Now I decided that I make four instruments in 2023. No, that's a joke. Mm. In the last years I made like between six to eight and nine instruments. I think I couldn't make even yeah, six to maybe eight. Mm. I have to look at my statistics here. Now, let's start with this one here. And then something I love to do is a little bit something, yeah, a round one dot, lines like this. And every label, I make something different today. It's here a funny no. How do you like it? Give me some ideas how you would make your label. Sometimes I even write the name of the future customer. Sometimes I even write the name of the future customer who... Here, we make another dot here, come on. This makes the whole thing interesting. Hmm? 
and this is here number one and now we make another one I don't know what else could we do here I have to search for one which I love the most this one probably and I could imagine I put this in a particular instrument this one here is also not bad It's actually very simple, but looking cute, huh? What do you think? Hmm? Another one. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you for all your comments on the past video. I appreciate that you're also active and leaving your comment and your opinion and your questions. It gives me all these ideas, new ideas, what we can make here and what you would like to know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe, to push the bell button so you always get a notification that the new video is online. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, bye bye. Ciao. <laughs>